What's going on guys? It's your boy NTG back it again with another video guys. In today's video, I'm just going to be talking psychology. I have this uh this live trade playing in the background and I just want to talk to you guys one on one for a second. You guys know trading psychology, you know, is very heavy on this academy and definitely need a psychology check. I know I've been uploading a lot of live trades and new strategies and everything like that, but you know, all else doesn't really matter until we get the mindset down, okay? You guys know how important the mindset is when it comes to trading. A lot of you guys are still making the same mistakes that you've been doing since last year or since you've been trading. And I know a lot of you guys, you know, I'm just going to get straight into the video, no intro, anything like that. I know a lot of you guys are like on the verge of giving up or quitting. And you just want to, you know, you don't see any hope of you trading full time, you know, you being able to leave your job or whatever you, you want to do that, you know, the training, you can benefit from trading. And I want to tell you guys, like, you can take a break, but don't quit. And why do I say that? Because 99% of you guys listening to this right now, I think you guys understand, like, the mistakes that you are already making. Like, Anti G. Auntie G doesn't have to sit here and tell you what the mistakes you're making. I'm pretty sure you already know what you're making. It's just a matter of fact that you're not changing the mindset, right? You know that you're over leveraging. You know you're over leveraging with every trade. You already know this. You, you know full well, but for some reason, you still enter multiple positions anyway. You know that you get too greedy. You know that you add positions and drawdown. You know that you, you get scared to enter the market at times. You know that you don't have a full system that works, that you never even back tested. You know you haven't done hours of back testing. You know you haven't even forward tested. You just went straight to a live account, saw a strategy, and started trading it. You know that you don't hold your trades long enough. You know that you know you should be holding your trade to your TP, but you don't because you get scared or you don't want to lose that profit. Like you were in such a good profit and then you get the smallest pullbacks and it starts to take away your profit. And you see that as I need to get out right away instead of just holding. These are a lot of psychology mistakes that you guys know that you're making. The issue here is that we're not changing those mindsets. We're not we're not we're trying to change it, but we're not we're not going above and beyond to really, really focus down on getting the psychology down, guys. We have to. We have to get that down. We cannot, you know, continue to trade the markets however we want and however we think we want. We have a lot of goals. Everyone here has goals. We do. Materialistically, spiritually, physically, it doesn't matter. With trading, I know you guys have a lot of goals. I understand that you guys see the potential that trading can get you. It can get you those nice things that you guys want. And I tell you guys every time on the psychology video, you guys see these these nice things every day, right? You go on social media and you see it everywhere. You see people really just living their life like how you want to. They're traveling. They're in the car that you want. They're, they have the clothes that you want to buy. They have the nice bag, the shoes. They have, they have everything, the, the house. They, want, you, they have it all. And you see that and you that's goals for you and you want that and you want that instantly. You want to be there next year. And to do that, you're looking at trading to be that, you know, pretty much that plug to get you there. But you guys have to understand that you're not going to get there without the correct mindset. OK. And. Being humble when it comes to trading is very important. And also understanding your journey as well. Like you can't be, you can't be like everyone else, guys. Like you can't. And I know some of you guys want a lavish lifestyle, fast, but you got to understand that this, this journey takes time. This trading, the skill of trading takes time. It's like any other career. If you want to become a doctor, you have to do eight, 10 years of school. You want to, you know, do engineering. Anything that you want to do, you know, in school and it takes time. It takes training. It takes years of training. You have to 
take a year. You have to take a test. You got to get certified. There's a lot of things that you got to go through. Trading is the same way. It's not just you watching one video and then you know you're an expert trader at that point. There's a lot of trials and tribulations you have to go through as a trader to get to this level. So the only thing that is really going to, when you guys are really going to start seeing change in your trading is when you guys learn how to be patient. When you learn how to be patient, you have to learn how to take your time. No matter what kind of account size you have, take your time. You have to be very, very, very patient with everything, even yourself. You have to be patient with yourself. I understand you're still making the same mistakes. You're beating yourself up because your mindset is not changing. You come back to the charts fresh and you think like you got it figured it out. Your mindset is so good. You're, you're going to be disciplined this time. You tell yourself all of that. I'm going to be a solid. I'm going to be 100%. I'm going to listen to Antti G. I listen to all his podcasts. I'm going to be solid. And then you still break, right? You take that next trade and you still break. You, you, you start off good. You start off very well. Your, your risk is good. Management is good. You're letting the trade play out. But then sometimes the trade gets too good. You're in nice profit. And you see those numbers and you see that blue, that nice blue color. And then your mind starts to engage again. It starts to think about the things that you want. It starts to think about what you could have, the job you can leave the next day. And what happens? You start to fall back into that cycle. Then you start to take steps back. Then you start to over leverage. Then you, you know what? That profit looks good. I think it's okay to add another position. You add another position. Or I think that profit looks good. Let me cut my profit short. You cut your profit short. And what happens? The market continues in your direction to your TP. And you're upset about that, that you should have held that trade. So what do you do? You get back into the market when you're not supposed to, with no system, with no plan. And the market takes back the little profit that you cut. And then it takes more of your initial balance. And that discipline disappears. And I know this is a cycle that you continue to stay in over and over and over. And you tell yourself, I'm not going to do it again. And then you do it again. You tell yourself, I'm not going to do it again. And you do it again. We have to change the mindset, guys. We have to be patient. Be patient, okay? There's a lot of psychology tools on being patient when you guys are trading, okay? You can focus on meditation. You can focus on being in the now, okay? Focus on everything, okay? That's mindfulness thinking. Be grateful for all you have for your son. I'm telling you guys, you guys, okay, there's a lot that you have around you that you guys are blind to, okay? I don't know everyone's situation, but be blessed, okay? You have an internet to watch these videos. You probably have food on your plate. You have a nice house, a roof under your head, okay? Be patient. Don't get, don't get confused. Don't get sucked into you know, the lavish lifestyle that you see on social media every day, okay? Work hard, keep your head down, stay humble. Make sure you guys are really being patient with this journey. It's going to take a while, I know. And I'm going I'm, I'm to be, you know, coming out with more podcast videos, like that's really focusing on like a one psychology issue. So I will start the psychology series again starting next week. So I'm going to be talking about greed. I'm going to be talking about, you know, winning trades, losing trades, revenge trading. I'm going to be talking about over leveraging. I'm going to be talking about every single psychology thing that we have to discuss because it's important. It's very, very important. And without these psychology tips, we won't be able to progress into the next level. And you guys really do need this. You do. You have to be able to sit down and you have to really reflect on the trading because a lot of the times it's not even the strategy. It's just the bad habits that you created as a trader and you can't get rid of it. So we're going to start a psychology series on really getting rid of these bad habits. And this is so, so important. And it's sad to see a lot of good traders. 
like a lot of good traders fall victim into the psychology, you know, because of just, you know, what they see around them. And it's a lot. And I always I always come down to the influence of, you know, the social media and things that are around us and the influence of ourselves, because we want to accomplish a lot of goals. And for us to accomplish those goals, we see trading as that. Okay, that's how I'm going to accomplish my goal. And so we bring that into trading. I always tell you guys that your lifestyle, your discipline in your life will reflect the discipline in your trading. And it's and it's so true. And I believe this. OK. When you guys are disciplined with yourself, you're going to be disciplined on the charts. There's a lot of things that the charts, you know, expose within ourself to see that to see ourselves mentally. And that's something that we need to continue to work on. You don't even have to do a live account. You can do a demo. You can do a small live account to work on these psychology things and take notes, you know, be aware of the decisions that you guys are making. Sometimes you guys trade, you guys trade blindly. Like you start making decisions blindly. You start to make decisions because of how you feel, not by numbers, not by actual system, by evidence, by proof of your system. You just start to trade because I I feel like it's going to go up. I feel like it's going to go down. Uh, oh, I, I think I can make this much money. Let me add this position. And we start to trade that way and we start to get away from being a professional trader. And so, like I said, it's going to be a lot that we're going to discuss on a psychology series. I'm going to be breaking down every single one. So pretty much I'm going to just start over the psychology series and I'm going to come out with like the first podcast, episode one greed and we're going to discuss greed and then we're going to discuss FOMO and we're going to discuss every single category that you guys are going through and we're going to come back that and we're going to see how we can change and fix that because this is going to be one of the most I know it's not one of my most viewed I know it's not one of my most clicked you know you know it doesn't people don't really watch it for that long but I know the ones that are listening now and still listening to the end of the video. Those are the ones that want to change. And those are the ones that are just really, really going to get the message. And you're going to see a difference in your trading once you get this psychology down. I promise you. There's a lot of good traders that I know to this day that are good technicals. But that psychology is what holds them back. And so hopefully when we start the series... It's going to impact a lot of you guys. All right, guys. So I do hope you guys are ready for that series. If you guys are, make sure you guys hit that like button for your boy NTG. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss the trading psychology series, guys. It's going to be super, super important. I always tell you guys, those my psychology videos are my most important videos. I know my strategies grab a lot of attention. My account flips, my live trading, they grab a lot of attention. But the one that doesn't grab attention, the most important one is the one right here. And so I want you guys to just listen well. All right, guys. So it was your boy NTG. And I'll see you guys in our training psychology series very soon. And I'm out. Peace.